Pilgrim, Mayflower, Puritan, Gobbler. From Friends, The Moist Maker. Her secret is she puts a, an extra slice of gravy-soaked bread in the middle. I call it the Moist Maker. All holiday turkey sandwiches, all with Thanksgiving ingredients being sold for a limited time. Munchie's excited, and I'm kind of excited too. I've never tried any of them before. We're putting them back to back to back to back to back to back. Firehouse subs, 2Js, Wawa, Earl of Sandwich, Publix. Which one is the best? And which is the worst? It tastes like Christmas, not Thanksgiving. I'm already at Firehouse subs. Munchie, we're putting the car on dog mode. That means I can leave her in the car while I get a sandwich. We're going. Today is their first day with french fries, so I guess I'm having this too. I have no choice, but this is what we're here for. So did you say the french fries are only at this location? You're in Malt Money. Firehouse subs. Quick tangent. They now have french fries with this new extra special french frying machine. It's a secret, so I couldn't show it. They're working on rolling this out. And this is one of the only firehouses that have it. Looking extra crispy. Comes in this cute little cup. Talking about canines. Munchie! Munchie, you're a canine. Potatoes, you eat these on Thanksgiving, so it makes sense we have this now. Going with it. Going with the Thanksgiving thing. They also make their own special sauce. It's hero sauce. Hero sauce. Because they're heroes, because they're firemen, but they're also heroes because it's a sandwich. Looking pretty legit, crispy. All in all, looking good. And fries. Ooh, that's a good sauce. It's light. It's got the ketchup in there. It's got that tang. Fries go with sandwiches. Firemen must like fries. Should you try them? It gets my vote. Let's get in on our first sub. There we go. It's large. It's actually a medium sandwich. It's all wrapped up, looking cute. We got some pickle action in there. We want to know what's inside. Hand carved turkey, they say. It comes with turkey, that cranberry sauce on top. You can see the stuffing. I believe there's also mayonnaise on here. You can see that cranberry, that turkey's carved. The stuffing is thick and the bread is soft and warm. There's another viewpoint. Medium Thanksgiving sub coming in at $9.99. It's my first one I'm trying. So it's staying at the top even before a bite. I can tell right now it's gonna be hard to beat this out. The smells are on, the freshness is obvious. One bite for the health of it, so we can rank it against the rest. Very well seasoned. I get Thanksgiving with this. I do. On to the next spot. We're going to Wawa. They have a gobbler. Hey, Munchie. Good girl, you're a good girl. There it is. Hot turkey's back. It's back. I never tried the gobbler, but there's a couple of different ways to order it. Okay. And then the cold one you have with the deli meat. We're getting a hoagie. We're gonna go for a hot Wawa gobbler. But let's see if we can customize it. Let's toast it. No cheese. Thank you. $9.66 for a 10 inch. The staff was so nice there. They said that they actually prefer it in a bowl form and they gave me this as a sample. They said that they like it with mashed potatoes stuffing, the hot turkey, because you can also get the cold turkey and the cranberry sauce on there. When I tried to order it, you couldn't add the mashed potatoes onto the sandwich with the stuffing. It comes with cranberry sauce already, right? I'm trying to add the mashed potatoes. So they actually threw it on there for me for free. Not sure that that would happen for you, but you can always order it on the side. And just an idea, put some mac and cheese on the side too and make it even more Thanksgiving. Something to really be thankful for. The Wawa Gobbler in my car. Do I like it better than Firehouse? We find out now. Ooh, it is saucy. This is the Gobbler. Messy. Let's look a little closer. There's the lid. Got the mashed potatoes in there. The stuffing on there. Cranberry, the roasted turkey. They said the sandwich was messy, which is why they prefer it in a bowl. Gotta try it and compare it. Does the gravy make it better? That's the one thing Firehouse didn't have. I don't know if it's necessary, because it is quite messy. I never thought that the mashed potatoes on a freaking sandwich would be that good, but it is really, really good. And that cranberry is delicious. 
I hardly taste any of the turkey because there's so much mash. But this action is not the type of sandwich you want to eat in your car, as I eat a sandwich in my car. This is an extra loaded gobbler. If you ask, you may receive. It's definitely something that I would gobble up. Supposedly, eating the gobbler out of the bowl is the better way. Let's see. I think I get it now. I know why it's sloppy. The turkey comes drenched in the gravy, so they can't separate it. I would definitely choose the sandwich over the bowl because the soaking bread with the gravy, I actually kinda like it. It's just too messy. I would prefer this sandwich if the gravy was on the side and I could dip it. I think the turkey is a little bit better quality at Firehouse. For that reason, the gobbler is gonna go one under Firehouse. We're on to the next spot. Are you guys doing a Thanksgiving sandwich? No. Okay, are you doing one this year or is it just not yet? No, not this year. I get it. Not this year, not this year. But we're close to Publix. I think they do have one there. Just getting the intel. They don't have it at IHOP, but used to. Oh. They don't have it at Subway, but they used to. Guess they just don't want to be part of the Thanksgiving squad. Spotted. Got the goods. $7.87 with tax for a half sandwich, guys. Let's see if it's good. Pub subs. Munchy. It's dripping. It's the bread that makes it in this case. This one comes with mayonnaise, that oven roasted turkey. And they put a butt ton of freaking cranberry relish on there. You can't really notice that the cheese and bacon's in there. The color changed a little bit with the cranberry relish. This doesn't look so good. They did say that they would put mustard on it. And for a pub sub, they'll add any other toppings. But I wanted it to look just like the picture. They're putting full cranberries in this relish. This is like a grocery store relish. This is like mama made it. This is the holiday turkey sandwich at Publix. Looking kind of extreme. It looks more like the Halloween sandwich. It tastes like Christmas, not Thanksgiving. Sweet cherry pie. They stuff it with meat. This just tastes like a sub with cranberry relish. You could eat this on a Tuesday. The others had the stuffing. Walla had the gravy in the mashed potatoes. This makes all that difference. But if you're looking for the Thanksgiving flavor, pub subs are not the way to go. So it's going in the bottom. We still have two more Thanksgiving sandwiches to try. One of them is called Two J's, and the other, Earl of Sandwich. The fourth Earl of Sandwich. Johnny Montague invented it himself and actually has a holiday turkey sandwich on the menu all year round. So let's get going. It's actually at Disney Springs. Yay! Fall in the magic. Closest Earl of Sandwich is right behind this really awesome Tinker Toy. Thank you. This place is not a joke. It's massive in here. It's my first time. I'd like to get the holiday turkey. Cool, well, thank you so much. They gave me a beeper thing. So now I wait for my sandwich to be made. $10.11. It's the most expensive, but we are on a Disney property. Yeah. Oh. The Earl of Sandwich. Got it. Let's get back to the car. An Earl's like a prince, right? It's royalty. That's why we're at Disney. So this is where the princesses and stuff are. It makes sense. Is it better than right now my top pick, Firehouse? Let's get back to Munchie. Stick it in the ranking. Earl of Sandwich. They don't ask you what size sandwich, but it looks like it's about a medium or a half a sub. I like the branding here. It's very British looking. Munchie, you're so excited for sandwiches. It's special because I've never had it before. Here it is, the Earl of Sandwich. It's like some nice crisp toasted ciabatta. Open it up. Mashed potatoes, stuffing, cranberry. They put gravy on here, but it's not soaking. Turkey for sure is on here. This one is looking a lot like what Publix was trying to do. This bread is feeling really, really nice. For a few dollars more, better quality does make a difference. And it's a little adventure to go to Disney Springs in this case. It feels better quality. This is night and day. The flavor here is killing it. We're putting the Earl of Sandwich on top. The inventor deserves it. Firehouse 
is underneath that. And then Wawa. Below that, we do have Publix. Publix just needs a little more Thanksgiving in there. We do have one more sandwich to try. And I know that this is a smaller chain down south. This one's being added for the locals. Two J's. It's on the specials menu for fall. It's like a Jewish deli. They got good pastrami and matzo ball soup. $16.97, the most expensive. Highest quality? Let's taste. Branding is on. They have like a little pelican happening. Oh, maybe it's a toucan. It's a toucan. We're getting more of like a platter in this case. It's like a dinner. Whoa. It is Thanksgiving. Two J's, you're killing it. Did I get silverware? Fork and knife included. Looking a little bit more like a Thanksgiving feast in this one. The mashed potatoes are included in this meal, but it's really about the sandwich, ain't it? Check out this sandwich. It's coming in hot. This one's definitely looking the prettiest. This one's coming with the arugula and Swiss cheese on there with the turkey, cranberry, and stuffing. Looking all toasted and good. Got that turkey looking fresh for the price. Is it worth it? They use the cranberry like gelatin style rather the cranberry sauce with the cranberries, which I like. It's like that canned cranberry stuff. You can tell by the texture. It already has gravy on it, but we gotta go for an extra dip. It's part of why they have this, I think. But it's almost unfair. It's a gourmet deli. In comparison, it tastes gourmet. The gravy's kind of necessary for these Thanksgiving turkey subs. My list right now is Earl of Sandwich, Firehouse, Wawa, then Publix. Where does 2J's go? Just because it's so expensive. I'm gonna have to put it one above Firehouse, but below Earl of Sandwich. It's the Earl. It makes sense that he wins. 2J's is an incredible option if you want that Thanksgiving flavor, but I'm not paying this much for Thanksgiving. Kind of get a little mashed potato. Gotta get a little messy with it anyways. It's strange but true. Mashed potatoes on a sandwich is badass good. There it is, another episode of Healthy Junk Food where I've ranked something. That way you guys don't have to go around trying all of them. DIY this after you have leftovers from Thanksgiving with just a really buttery, delicious wheat bread. That's probably the way to go. Earl of Sandwich wins. Can we really be surprised? No. Firehouse comes very close second. Just missing the gravy. Have you tried these sandwiches before? Let me know which ones you like the best in the comments and let me know what you want me to rank next. There's so many things. And with the holidays coming around, there's even more. I had enough turkey. Time to take a nap. The tryptophan is kicking in. Why don't you get a little bit of turkey for being so good? He's a good girl. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Just kidding. Arby's deep fried turkey's back. So we have to add it to the list. And I'm already there. We're pulling up to the drive-thru right now. Are you hungry? I'm hungry too. You guys have deep fried turkey now? We do. It's in season. Woo! It's so good. It is? Heck yeah, girl. Because I'm not going to try it. If you don't like it, we'll eat it. Do you deep fry it back there? Yes, we do. So good. You're going to love it. Come on down. The energy is up. This is actually the cheapest one. But it's not like a sub. It's more of a sandwich. Deep fried turkey gobbler coming in at $6.92. Bye, thank you. <laughs> it is turkey day for me. They've got the meats. There it is. Arby's is in the running. This is it. How saucy it is on the back end. Fried onion rings on there with Swiss cheese and fried turkey. Also looking like some hand-carved turkey slices. First Thanksgiving sandwich with lettuce and tomato. I do love a veg. I do. They do put some type of sauce on there. This channel is healthy, not healthy. And nothing I eat on this channel is healthy. There's no stuffing, no gravy. Is this just a really good sandwich or is this a Thanksgiving appeal? This is freaking delicious. Is this something I'm gonna gobble all the way up? Hell freaking yeah. It's got that herbal flavor that gives me a Thanksgiving vibe. I actually really freaking like this. This is a sandwich I wanna eat all year round. Which means if it's a limited time thing, definitely go get it. Due to the quality of meat and the Thanksgiving vibe kind of being there, but not exactly, I'm gonna put it above Wawa and under Firehouse. That's a damn good sandwich. I gotta go now, guys. I like to eat in my car privately sometimes, okay? All right, no, that's a real go. No, I I'm going. Bye.